question, and she says, how many days we should fast in Sha'ban? I used to fast every Monday and Thursday. Now, what's the ruling on fasting Sha'ban? The month of Sha'ban, as reported by Umm Salama, by Aisha, by other companions, may Allah be pleased with them, they said that the Prophet ﷺ did not fast any month more than Ramadan except Sha'ban. So we have 12 months in the year. The ninth year, the ninth month is called Ramadan. And we know that it is one of the pillars of Islam to fast the whole of Ramadan. The other 11 months, the Prophet ﷺ recommended highly to fast the month of Muharram, which is the first month in the lunar calendar. And he said that there is no month better to fast after Ramadan except Muharram. So number one is Ramadan, number two is Muharram. Now when coming to his own doing, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to fast a lot of Sha'ban in a narration. He used to fast the whole of Sha'ban and connect it to Ramadan. And it's a different of a dispute whether is it permissible to fast all of it, like in one narration, or it is best to fast most of it, like in another narration. So the Prophet ﷺ himself was asked about fasting Sha'ban. Why do you often fast Sha'ban? He said, because this is a month that people usually are uh, uh, heedless of or they neglect because it falls between the holy month of Rajab, the sacred month of Rajab, and between Ramadan. So it's a month that people usually don't pay a lot of attention to it, so I'd like to remember Allah Azza wa in it and fast it. So can I fast the whole of the month of Sha'ban? The answer is no, because we know that the Prophet ﷺ told us not to precede Ramadan by a day or two, unless a person is used to fasting this day or two, meaning that if it coincides that the 30th of Sha'ban coincides with a Monday or with a Thursday and it is your habit to fast every Monday and Thursday throughout the whole year. In this case, even if the day before Ramadan was a Thursday and you fasted it, your fasting is correct. But someone who is not used to fasting at all and he comes to the, day, uh, the 30th day of Sha'ban and he says, mm, maybe it's Ramadan, we don't know. Maybe the sighting of the moon was not correct. So just to be safe, just for the benefit of the doubt, I'm going to fast the 30th of Sha'ban. This is prohibited. This is known as the day of doubt because if it were cloudy and people were not able to see the uh, moon, the crescent, whether it is tomorrow, Ramadan, or a completion of 30 days of Sha'ban, they, they, they have to, by default, consider it as the 30th of Sha'ban. So whoever fasts it to just be safe, this is prohibited. Coming back to your question, uh, uh, Lydia. So can I fast Sha'ban? The answer is yes, you can fast most of it. Preferably leave a day or two before Ramadan and you can fast the whole thing, inshallah, without any problem.